Christine Frazau takes a look at the trend and what could be driving more Republicans to the polls. I'm very angry. He is resonating with the people and he's speaking our minds. This is a really angry electorate. In few realms other than politics, does anger equal enthusiasm? But here in 2016, that anger is translating into votes. Take a look at Republican voter turnout in the first few states to vote. It's increased everywhere. For Democrats, turnout has waned, a sign they're not harnessing the few emotions that usually drive voters, says Mo Ilathi. Sometimes it's hope, as we saw in 2008. Uh, with a more optimistic energy, and sometimes it is anger or fear and frustration. Alethi, who serves as executive director at Georgetown's Institute for Politics and Public Service, says the fact that there have been so many more Republicans in the race is helping as well, that they've built a stronger infrastructure to get out the vote. And America has never stopped being great. Political analysts also blame low turnout for Democrats on the fact that so many perceive the race to be over that a Hillary Clinton victory is inevitable. At last week's Republican caucus in Nevada, at least one polling place reported a shortage of ballots. And looking ahead to Super Tuesday, early voting numbers are breaking records in places like Georgia, Tennessee, Arkansas, and Texas. But what's driving voters to the polls now may not be the key in the general election, where voters instead may look for the candidate who gives them hope for the future. And most people sit there and they say, you know what, I play by the rules, I do everything I'm supposed to do, and I can't get ahead. And the people above me are getting all the breaks, and the people below me are getting all the handouts, and no one's looking out for me. He says whichever party can make the case that they're fighting for them will likely be the winner. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzell reporting. Our coverage is...